This video is about calculating the liquidity position and using it to analyze a real company's liquidity. First, I'll explain what the liquidity position is and how to calculate it. Then, we'll calculate the liquidity position for Target in November 2008. Lastly, we'll evaluate the trend in Target's liquidity position over the last four quarters and talk about what's driving that trend. The liquidity position is cash reserves and unused committed lines of credit, less short-term debt repayments. It measures readily available sources of liquidity, like cash and revolving credits, against uses of liquidity, like the debt repayments the company has to make over the next 12 months. A value greater than zero indicates the company can meet its current financial obligations. The larger the liquidity position, the more resources the company has to meet unpredictable needs. Here's the formula. The liquidity position equals cash reserves plus borrowing capacity under committed lines of credit minus short-term debt minus the current portion of long-term debt. Cash is unrestricted cash balances not used in the company's operations plus near cash short-term investments. Available revolving credits are the maximum amount of the line, often called the commitment, less any debt outstanding under the line, less any letters of credit issued under the line, less any limits on borrowing caused by collateral requirements. Let's calculate Target's liquidity position for the quarter ending in November 2008. Start with cash of $918 million, add available revolving credit of $2 billion, subtract short-term debt of $1,382 million, subtract the current portion of long-term debt of $1,467 million to get the liquidity position of $69 million. Now let's take a look at the trend in Target's liquidity position for the last four quarters. As you can see, the liquidity position increases from the first quarter to the second quarter, falls sharply in the third quarter, and then recovers in the fourth quarter. A look at the drivers explains the trend in Target's liquidity position. There are cash balances in the first quarter, but no short-term borrowings. Cash increases in the second quarter, and there's still no short-term debt, that drives the liquidity position higher. In the third quarter, cash falls, but there are short-term borrowings, as Target builds working capital for the fourth quarter selling season and uses debt to finance it. In the fourth quarter, cash balances are stable, and short-term debt is completely repaid, bringing the liquidity position back to higher levels.